Hello everyone, welcome to Sudeep Tech Learning YouTube channel and today in this video I am going to tell you all full admission procedure for all the need based courses which are there in Goa. So the DTE has already released a notification that from 17th of October the admission will going is going to be start and actually it has already started and after that I am preparing this video. So full admission procedure, how to proceed, how to register, how to log in, how to opt for courses, everything I am going to tell you all on this video so let's start directly very first thing that you have to know the website that is goa degree admissions dot in this is the website you have to go on this website to start the admission procedure so i'll directly take you there so this is the website when you open it up it will show you like this welcome now if you had already registered yourself for the g side admission okay i already made a video on that during the g side application time so we have done your GSAT admission again from this side only so here if you are already registered it will show you login so what you have to do is you have to log out from there and create a new register again new so when you open welcome the full page it will show you some instructions like this so again this instruction tell you the steps how we are going to go forward which is actually I'm going to show you everything again in this video now when you select down from the instructions here are some important instructions which are given for uh, the student who is going to log in here now these instructions are important here apart from that i would like to give us some extra instructions that is main thing is since the admission process is fully online you'll have to have a good internet connection second thing you have to have a valid mobile phone number which is obviously you're going to have and a gmail id so a good internet connection is very much important when you all are starting to fill up the form and the prerequisites that is all the certificates that you all need to have that what are the pre-requirements i'm going to tell you all soon so all these things you need to keep ready with hand before starting the admission now, if you're going to cyber cafe for your admission process make sure you follow all the covid 19 norms the so social distancing mask sanitize everything you have to keep in mind and then only go to cyber cafe for your admission process now after the important things that you need to keep in mind you have to whatever things that you are uploading you have to make sure that they are self-attested self-attested copies scan copy you have to take now what are the things that you need to take first thing common documents that are required for everyone to be filled that is first thing is your birth certificate now the same thing is if you have filled a gsat form it is very easy for you to fill this uh, need based form so almost all same things are the hssc mark certificate then you need to also have uh, 10 certificate also in your hand because all the details that you're going to fill are going to be filled according to a SSC certificate then school living certificate HSSC living certificate important other card is important your friend your other card uh, number there afterwards that is important need admit card the admit card and also you will be requiring the when you have to fill all the need details you should have them with you so uh, when you are starting with the admission process everything you need to keep admit card and also the copy of the need result this pdf you can directly upload there so you don't need to worry about whichever you download direct a result from there now apart from this all things you need based on the category that you are going to select now where you are going to get this all categories you have to read the prospectus i will give you the link of the prospectus but i am sure you almost have read the prospectus by now because that is very important to know all the categories all the course everything information is given in the common prospectus the prospectus is common for g side and need based courses so you have to read that prospectus and based on whatever category that you select these are extra things that you are going to require that you need to attach there okay so these all these things you should keep ready. now moving forward let's go to the directly website now i told you if you are a login already because you had done for gsat do not use that same credentials you have to go and register back again so just go above and there will be a register option first you log out and register option and simple thing registration again email address you have to add and create your own password now the password has to be strong uh, eight minimum eight characters now all things happening online so by now you should be knowing how a good password is to be created so just do these things and make a sign up after you create a sign up option it will send you an email on whatever email address that you have that for the gmail address should be valid one okay so you will receive a email so this is how you receive the email very simple one just you have to click when you open the email you have to click on this option verify email okay just click on that and the email will be directly verified 
once you click on that your account is verified and then you can directly go to login page and start filling up the form so let me click here on the login page and i will be taken directly to the login site okay simple thing here for the login site whatever email address that you use and whatever password that you have created you have to just enter here and select the human verification this is very important make sure that this becomes green tick here okay after that you can select on login to your account and you will be directly login here is what when you log in it will take you to your my profile your it will show you that admission for the first year professional degree of neat examination okay just select go to application okay now when you firstly select this go to application since you have not filled anything it will first tell you not applied so directly simple step there will be showing one thing step one okay so this is a linked uh, linked alphabet so you have to click on this step one after I click on the step one, the first question that is asked to you is whether you have applied for the GSET 2020 online or not. Now, why this question is asked, that is very important to know. If you have done GSET 2020 application, if you applied for that, then you don't have to pay extra extra fees. That is, you have paid fees for that time, that is the application fees. So, if you are not applied that, if you are selecting no, then you have to pay 1,500 rupees as an application fees. Okay. Now, I'll tell you. We select on yes here. See, so I have selected on yes. So, if you select on yes, you have to write your GSET 2020 roll number and an OTP will be received. Okay. Similar how we have done for the GSET. If you have done your GSET, you will be knowing this GSET application. That time also same thing was done. An OTP was come. The OTP is going to come on the Gmail ID that you had registered during the admission process of GSET. Okay, now if you have not answer, registered for GSET or not answered GSET, you have to simply click on no and it will directly take you to the first step. Okay, when you select no, it will show you successful. And after that, we have to fill the first step that is the personal details. Very important to know that you have to fill all your details as per the SSE certificate. So it will come directly in the capital letters. Fill your things, simple things, date of birth, gender, nationality. Uh, mobile number and also alternative mobile number. you know nowadays there is a lot of network issues and for that you have to give it is better to give an alternate mobile phone number also maybe of your parents okay or your gardens if you're staying with the garden and your other card number is important this is why you need other card in hand so just enter your other card your postal address that is your full address your where you are staying and here you upload the photo now how are you going to upload the photo whatever the in, during the instruction times there is given a clear instruction what is going to be size or the dimension so based on that you have to upload your photo after that you just select save and proceed after you do that you are taken to the step two this is uh, filling your academic details now very important again this is why you need your admit card so on your admit card you will find your NEET 2020 roll number so just write your full roll number here NEET 2020 all india rank this is there on the NEET result okay NEET result you will find this thing so just enter it here and the percentile score now how you are going to add this percentile score some percentile scores are with decimals over five numbers so everything that full number you have to add if it's a um, five digit decimal number you have to add all those digits okay that is very important to know now the next thing is you have to add the details of your HSCC that is a 12 standard details uh, you, whichever board that you have answered if you go aboard and go aboard then year of passing the HSCC that is 12 standard when you have passed and 12 standard seat number this you will get on your HSSC mark sheet so very important keep your mark sheet in hand and then only attempt all these things here you have to add your marks okay HSSC marks that you have obtained now just don't guess and just don't remember and write keep your certificate in your hand and then only start filling this because it is not good to make mistake here you cannot uh, edit this form afterwards okay even if you're editing that is it is not a good idea to do so so don't make mistakes while filling the form then next thing is uh, it is asked whether you want to apply for the veterinary science courses in elite health sources again it's an option to you if you want you select yes or no okay then you just select save and proceed now that is done the part two we go to the part three that is the step three that is the selecting the category now how are you going to select the category there is a, there are a lot of categories given here you have to again read the prospect is very important everything how you're going to select what are the extra documents you need to upload what are the requirements for getting selected for some category everything is given the prospectus please read the prospector in the description box i will be giving you all the link 
download it from there if you have not yet downloaded and read that prospectus once again very important to know that okay now these are the all the categories that i mentioned here now i'll just explain you in brief there is a general category that is anyone can apply for general category now there this time there is one more thing that is govan native general category so if you are applying for um, general category you can select from these three options sc st obc okay that is the extra thing general category you have to select there is a, that is a mandatory if you want even if you want to select this one of this now if you don't want to select that there is other option that is go on native go on native st and go on native obc okay so either this thing or this thing you can select that is all of you then apart from that there are many other categories read about this category on the prospectus whichever applies to you select from there now after this this is the very important part that is uploading the documents so these are all important documents birth certificate you need you need a 12 mark sheet all this thing you have to scan and make a pdf copy that is important make a pdf copy out of it and then only you have to upload okay living certificate that is hsc living aadhar card you have to upload your need admit card copy of a need result this is a copy of a need result means the one which you have downloaded the pdf that you can upload it directly there your caste certificate that is if you are applying for a caste then you have to upload this then your parents uh, birth certificate this is again now this additional document there are three sets given additional documents are based on the category that you are selecting now if you are selecting a category and it requires some other for example uh, if you want to upload a residence certificate in certain category that is if you are selecting go on native there is a residence certificate you require then for that matter you have to add those in the additional documents file okay whatever things you require add them here now after that just scroll down and if you you will be able to see this declaration by applicant and declaration by parent very important to tick this here okay so when there is i agree box you have to tick this box here and also again here there is uh, for parents declaration you have to tick this box and again here you can see there is a uh, there is a filling up here that is you have to fill your parents name now this undertaking is taken uh, which says that all the things that you are filling in this application is of your this thing of your on your own choice and that nothing is wrong and you are fully aware about whatever is happening so this is what you have to do you have to just agree this and then save and proceed now after that uh, this takes you to the completion of third step we are in the fourth step now step number 4 selection of courses very important again to read the prospectus whatever courses for what courses what is the fees what are the documents that you need to require is how is the admission process everything is given in the prospectus very nicely it is given the fee structure and all everything is given just go through the prospectus and read it again if even if you have read it again before filling the form please read it and make sure you are aware about everything the some important instruction will be given here as you scroll down now the main thing is uh, you have to select a minimum of 10 need based courses now this time since this is an online you have to select courses based on codes so there are codes given i will show you all, all the codes here now okay so there are 14 courses those who are applying only for neat can select maximum 13 and uh, who have also chosen for uh, nata based courses that is the bh courses then they, have, they can select the 14th one also okay so based on the choice this is a very important thing don't just start filling based on the choice if you have if you have selected something first that becomes your first choice which you are selecting second that becomes your second choice that is important to know okay now i will just show you all at uh, this thing this is important if you are selecting a bh course the code is arc so the whichever course that you are selecting it is given a unique code here see for mbbs it is mbs for bds it is bds for homeopathy it is bhm ayurveda bm so so on like this it is every course has a unique code so you have to select that code you have to keep in mind this if you are getting confused write and keep and then go just uh, screenshot this if you want or you will get it directly in the instruction page take the screenshot keep it write it and keep it and then only you proceed for your admission because uh, very important to choose based on your options okay now i will just show you how you can select this c my first choice is mbbs so i took it for the first choice second choice is dentistry i took it second then ayurveda i am choosing third okay uh, now then i am choosing this next thing homeopathy now if you don't know whatever thing which course you have to select just you can uh, refer whatever you have written or 
you can just go above just uh, leave this thing and just you can go above you will see all this thing this table is just above that filling thing so read again read confirm it confirm one or two times whatever courses you are selecting the choice of courses the sequence that you are following make sure you follow the correct sequence so that you don't face any problem afterwards because everything you are filling is getting uh, you have to save it and then only based on your choices only everything is going to happen you cannot blame anyone others afterwards so i'll just select here everything which is there so all the courses you can select minimum of 10 you have to select and since there are 14 courses you can obviously select the other things now if you are a neat course you don't have to select the brh that is the last one now after that you can go down next you see ews that is the income and asset certificate if you are applying for that do you wish to be considered then that you have to select yes or no based on that destiny after that very important to tick this declaration okay after that you have done you have to go down scroll down and you will see all the preview of all the courses that you have selected see this will show your first choice so since i have selected mbs first then so based on that everything will be shown over here okay and if you have selected yes that also this is a preview thing okay after that you just save and proceed now again this is a last step now that is the payment and submission now again the payment thing i'll tell you all that if you have submitted a gsat application before you don't have to pay the 1500 rupees if you have not uh, applied for gsat then you have to pay 1500 at this time see here it's the application fee it is not any it is not uh, the admission fee mind you it is the just the application fee admission fee will be afterwards okay the first there will be eligibility list coming out then there will be a merit provisional merit list coming out then there will be a merit list coming out after that seat allotment list will be coming and after that you have to contact the college and then your admission fees and all will be taken care of afterwards so from the dte side these all things you have to do and this application fee is for dte so after you you are okay make sure your payment because you are doing online payment you have a credit card or whatever upi payment you are doing it is ready for you so just proceed on payment i'll show you all how you can do the payment so when you will do that you will be taken up to the dashboard of hdfc bank don't worry it is not mandatory to have a hdfc bank uh, account only there is an option here other bank debit card you can use from there also there are other options like upi options and things so it is very easy to do payment okay since everything is working online now you should be able to know how you do the online payments okay just do pay now and uh, make sure you keep the uh, download the receipt of payment and keep it with you until the admission process because that is required afterwards okay after that uh, you can uh, submit the thing you submit the application now i have not done the payment so i cannot show you how it gets submitted and how it gets submitted okay uh, after that you can visit revisit your my profile login again and revisit your profile and then it will show your status and slowly your admission process will end here okay so again if you are facing any difficulty in the admission process anywhere you cannot understand whatever things or you cannot understand the prospect or something some uh, statement or some whatever things you cannot understand feel free to comment in the video i will try to solve your doubts and yes that was everything i hope you all have liked this video hit a like if you like comment again any doubts and subscribe to my channel for more videos for more educational technical technical videos and also i do online services based video for goan citizens so do subscribe it and then we'll meet in the next video until then learn smart be wise